hey guys so finally by popular demand i am making the strip sugar video and if you guys have seen any of my other sugaring videos specifically my video titled watch this before you make diy sugar wax then you'll know that there are actually four different types of sugar the only difference is how much or how little you cook your sugar that's going to affect your results so in today's video we are making sugar number one and this sugar is the most unique of the four because what sets it apart is that it is not a sugar that you can use as a paste meaning you can not spread this and flick it off with your fingers so as the name implies you have to use it with wax strips now as i've mentioned before none of the recipes are actually any different all of these sugar recipes have a two to one ratio meaning it is two parts sugar to one part water and acid of your choice all of those acids and sugars are listed in the description box so you just want to take all of your ingredients and put them either into your saucepan or into a bowl or heat proof glass that is appropriate for the quantity of sugar that you're going to be making and then heat it on the stove or the microwave on medium high heat. And yes, I do have a tutorial on how to make this in the microwave, which I will also link down below, but this is how you're going to know when your sugar is done. So what strip sugar actually is, is sugar that has been cooked to the thread stage. This means that it has been cooked approximately between 230 degrees to 235 degrees Fahrenheit, but you might have to go slightly below or slightly above this range. It is not written in stone, so it means you might have to alter these numbers slightly. After you have cooked your sugar, it's still gonna be thin because you need to wait for it to actually cool to at least room temperature before you can know the true consistency of it, which should be something like this. It's still kind of ready because it has more water in it than a paste would but you're probably thinking well what if i don't have a thermometer if you don't have a thermometer or if you do and you're not necessarily getting the results that you're expecting then you are going to want to do what is called the cold water test while you're cooking your sugar you want to grab a bowl of cold water it can be ice water or it can just be cold tap you want to take a spoonful of your hot syrup and then pour that into the bowl and what you want to happen is for the sugar to form little threads as it falls which is why this is called the thread stage of course those threads will fall into a clump at the bottom of the bowl and you'll notice that if you try to pick this up it will really melt into itself and it won't hold the shape and unfortunately there's no exact amount of time that this is going to be done in nor is the color important so you can disregard any of those references and just stick to either checking the consistency or the temperature to gauge when you're done that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and of course i will be making a video on how to use strip sugar but if you want to see a how to now then i do have some videos in the diy sugar wax playlist that you can reference in the meantime and i'll see you in the next one bye